As you may know, the Mariana Trench is the deepest place on our planet with a maximum depth of 36,000 feet or 10,900 meters. So we can all agree that that's deep. So deep that the sunlight never reaches those depths. At the bottom, water pressure can be more than 15,000 PSI, which is over 1,000 times the amount of pressure that's at regular sea level. The temperature down there is usually right around one to four degrees Celsius, which is right over freezing. So it's safe to say that it is very cold down there. These extreme conditions can cause for some rather interesting wildlife. When you think about it, such peculiar conditions would have to produce extremely peculiar wildlife. And you know, we gotta talk about it. We gotta talk about it. One of my favorite animals ever to talk about also roams around the Mariana Trench. You guessed it, it's the anglerfish. The anglerfish is most famously known for their bioluminescent light that's attached to their heads. The light is created by a tiny bacteria that lives inside a special part of the anglerfish's body called the esca. The anglerfish and the bacteria kind of work in a partnership together. The bacteria gets a safe place to live and nutrients that comes from the anglerfish's body and in return the bacteria will make light that helps the anglerfish survive. This light is made through a chemical reaction. The bacteria produce a molecule called luciferin, which reacts with oxygen and other enzymes and eventually it glows. This glow helps anglerfish attract and catch prey. So basically it's like, like a built-in flashlight that never needs batteries. Now anglerfish come in all shapes and sizes, but one thing that never changes is the men live a horrible life. So this is a male anglerfish. No, not, not the big one. That, yes, that's a male anglerfish. And when I say their size is the least of their worries, just trust me. While the ladies can grow to around three feet long, the men are no larger than the size of like a, like a little gummy worm. And no offense to gummy worms. It's safe to say that that's not quite intimidating. Now let's get to romance. Male anglerfish are considered clingy. As a matter of fact, they take clingy to a whole new level. Now just follow me. Once a man finds his female, which is already a Herculean task in itself, he bites onto her with his teeth, his teeny little teeth. I know what you're thinking, how sweet, a little, little love nibble, but no, no, no. It's way more intense than that. Once he bites on, he never lets go, literally until they, they fuse together. His body literally fuses with hers. His skin, muscles, and even blood vessels verge with each other until basically he's just a forgotten blob. And that is the rest of his life. Talk about a one-sided codependent relationship. And, and did I mention that she can have up to eight of these males on her? I know that might sound like a real life nightmare, but I promise you just, just check this out the frilled shark. This ancient deep sea predator has 25 rows of backwards facing teeth, which totals to about 300 needle sharp daggers ready to snag at anything unlucky enough to get too close to it. Their teeth are designed specifically backwards so that once it grabs onto you, it never lets go. The backwards angle ensures that prey slide further in with every struggle. So there is no getting away. And if the teeth weren't enough, the frilled shark has an unhinged jaw that can stretch wide enough to swallow prey that are half their body size. Now just remember, they can grow to seven feet long. So let's do some math here. Anything under about three and a half feet could be considered a meal. Luckily for humans, they have no interest specifically in us, which is very interesting because they'll eat squid, fish, and even other sharks, but for some reason, they leave us alone. Also, they're very slow swimmers and they live in the deepest part of the ocean. So the next beach trip you go on, you do not have to worry about them. But that's just one of many extremely wild, intense animals that lives in the Mariana Trench. Speaking of oversized mouths, pause. I got another one for you. Let me introduce you to the gulper eel. 
This fish is known for its giant oversized scoop-like mouth, which looks like it belongs to something maybe three times its size. Their mouths are so wide that they can basically swallow dang near any prey they'd like. Plus, it doesn't stop there. Its throat and stomach can expand to fit not only prey, but also water that accidentally gets gulped down there in the process of hunting. This is the one case where biting off more than you can chew doesn't really apply. Like the anglerfish, they have their own built-in light show. Its long whip-like tail features bioluminescent organs called photophores. Now, we don't know exactly what they're used for, but my guess is always to either attract prey or attract a mate. And I'm guessing more of it's to attract prey in this case. Despite all those amazing features, the gulper eel still has its quirks. Their eyes are, are like comically small. But when you think about it, they're at the bottom of the ocean where there's no light. So what do you really even need to see? I mean, other than their prey, and they live to be up to about 85 years old. So they have plenty of time to learn strategies and figure out how to catch their prey. With all that being said, they might not go on my nothing to play with list, but they are definitely on the most interesting list.